You were not a vet, but I've taken her to the vet months ago and she was fine. She's old, snarky priest. She's not going to be in perfect health. Her health is deteriorating. I'm not going to take her to the vet for every little thing for old age with a pet. No. So hate me all you want, but I'm going to put her down. It's going to happen. She's old. She's she's probably sick. Um, no, I'm not going to let prolong her life for no reason. And um, yeah. Baby Jay, you're not going in the suitcase. You're going in a cardboard box. Cardboard box? It's probably a bag, Zeta. I think pets get uh, buried in bags. I always get such nice pets for BBJ. And, um, said, basically, like, she had geriatric blood work the last time I was there. And, uh, so she was, like, really surprised for, like, her age, how good her blood work was. Like, she was surprised. She's like, <laughs> so, um, but she wants me to, like, I still have her gabapentin, so, well, her weight, like, the doctor would like her to, I said that since she's had her, like, nails done and her checkup, like, she's actually, like, put a bit of weight on, like, her nails were growing, like, Sam's nails are fine, but BBJ, like, will not let me cut her nails, and she, like, stresses too much, and her nails grow quicker, and, like, she doesn't scratch as much as Sam, so, like, her nails were growing quicker, and they were, like, starting to grow under, so I felt really bad about that, but, like, since the, her paws got taken care of and everything, like, she's been eating better, and, like, you know, so I scheduled another appointment in, like, a month and a half, and she has to get her nails done again there. They want to see her again. And then I'm going to repeat the blood work in, like, three months or so. So, anyway, I'm going to make an appointment for Chubby Moo and get his blood work done. And so, BBJ, like, her kidney levels, like, or her thyroid, is like, typically the cat should be, like, between 20 and 40. So, hers was, like, 41, but the doctor is not concerned of really about it like overall overactive thyroid but I was like talking about my doctor uh, to the doctor about how I can like preserve her life expectancy like so she can live forever <laughs> and she's like repeat the blood work in like three to four months just to be sure that because if her thyroid level does creep up that's something that can shorten the life expectancy very quickly I mean I don't think I'll be taking them twice sorry let's just be real unless they're really sick <laughs> sorry BBJ I didn't even take my grandma to the doctor twice a year when she was geriatric. Hey, BBJ, after 20 years, she loves you and you will throw her away for a guy from the other side of the world. No, I'm not even throwing her away. I'm thinking of someone to take care of her, maybe even better than I can. And it's not my fault she won't die. It's not my fault she won't die. I'm just joking. I had to joke about that, I'm sorry. So I hope you have your pearls ready to be clutched because this is going to be this kind of video. And when it comes to my pet care, people like to clutch their pearls over every little thing. And that's what I'm going to discuss today. I'm going to tell you the full history story about Julia and then I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Um, so basically what's going on is I'm now being accused of being an animal abuser because my cat has not been spayed yet. And she has been given two times, not once or three times, it's two times, a I don't, I don't know what they call it, a progestin shot. It's a hormone shot to keep her out of heat for several months. Her first shot lasted almost a year, exactly. Um, so yeah, they can last several months. The first one was administered by um, a different veterinarian. This one, a different one, uh, two different veterinarians. But if you're gonna call me an animal abuser for give, getting her this shot, then you're also calling the veterinarian an animal abuser, which I can guarantee you 100%, they're not in the profession to abuse animals. You would need to call them that logically because they're the ones who actually gave the shot. And actually, when we first brought Julia to the vet when she went into heat to, suggest, to see about getting her fixed, which we did do, the vet was the one who suggested the shot for now because she needed other treatments that uh, he wanted performed before she could be fixed. So here's the story. We got Julia from someone Salah knew and they, that person that Salah knew got them from somebody they knew and had to leave the country. So they were looking to rehome Julia. The, Julia was never theirs. They had other cats to take care of. So um, 
that person wasn't really sure about her whole history about her exact age and everything like that so we weren't sure about her exact age it was just an estimate i can't even remember now what it was but she was pretty young <laughs> um but that wasn't 100 percent certain that was just an estimate to tell you guys whatever um so she went into heat the first time and so we brought her to the vet almost right away um the vet examined her as a good veterinarian would do and saw that she had like a skin condition we had no idea about that he wanted to be fixed up first so we had to take her where she gets her nails trimmed get her a couple of these uh, the special shampoo to wash her skin um and that would have to clear up before she could be vaccinated so then we had to get her vaccinated and then we had to arrange to get her fixed but we thought you know even the vet said there's no rush because she has this vaccine that can last up to a year and it did not not a year he said actually 10 months this actually lasted almost a year so usually it's about between seven to ten months but it can last longer so um we just weren't really keeping track i guess of the exact date of when it would wear off another note is actually she, he didn't want to give her the vaccine while she was in heat because whenever she was in heat she was under more stress and just more you know tired and everything like that so he wanted to wait until after her cycle was over or she was no longer in heat because this injection would have put her out of heat within three days so it's like almost like a form of birth control which even humans take all right so um again if it was animal abuse the doctor would be responsible for the animal animal abuse because they're the one who recommended it to us in the first place while we took care of her other health issues and i might be in kuwait now but this person better hope better hope that i don't follow through with a defamation case in the future you can laugh now but all of it in my on my side all of it's documented on their channel like they have these streams and all these videos and even if they take them down the internet's forever right so anyway because that, that's what it is it's pure defamation even accusing me of animal abuse with bbj I have those files from the animal control who are responsible for animal abuse cases on my side. They've always left our premises without any account, uh, without um, deeming any abuse or neglect at all. So back to Julia. So it was the vet who actually suggested this while we could take care of the other issues for Julia. Um, actually, as a side note, I just want to say all of this is not really anyone's business, how I take care of my pet. If my pet, she's being well fed, she's spoiled with love and she's very comfortable here. Like if she was out on the streets of Kuwait in the heat with no food, shelter, water. Um, so I guess we just didn't really keep track of like how long the vaccine was lasting. She did end up going in heat again. And I think what triggered it was me having the scent of those male cats on me from downstairs because she was really into the scent and she went into heat like the next day. Um, so we are traveling very soon. I don't feel comfortable with getting her fixed without me being here to care for her and to keep an eye on her. Um, so basically, um, we made the decision to go back to another vet and another pet clinic and say, you know, can we get her another shot for now? And the vet said, yes, but this will be the last one. Usually two is like the max recommended, um, just to prevent problems in the future that the hormones could cause. So um seeing that we don't really have another choice because we don't have the time i know people will say well that's not an excuse not to get your pet not getting them fixed is not a medical emergency okay like we have these tickets bought we have the hotel paid for we have everything and we will lose money um on the plane tickets and everything so uh yeah it, seeing as the vet said it was okay to get another shot we got her another shot and lo and behold she's fine she has like no symptoms of any side effects she's back to her regular self she's not lethargic or not eating or anything like that trust me she's eating and she's running around chasing flies and whatever else so she's a happy cat anytime you've ever seen her on video she's not cowering in a corner she's not afraid she's not emaciated she's always on her back which is the most comfortable happiest position a cat could be in anytime i talk to her she flops on her back and rolls over you've seen that many times just like you've seen many times in my previous streams and videos where bbj was extremely happy bbj was extremely old had a lot of health problems that old cats have um so i mean yeah like julia's fine um if you want to accuse me of being an animal abuser because my cat was in heat that is just beyond ridiculous and after this video we're not even going to address anything ridiculous like that you can keep you know keep making your def defamatory videos I, I hope that they stack up and i hope for your sake that i never take action on it but we'll see because that's just ridiculous at this point like people are getting away with the most vile things and actions and, and saying and doing the most vile things um to people in the community and it's just like going too far it's just being stretched too far i get it that i'm not the person that i was and you don't have the content that you used to and you know guess what people grow and they change and um, go through phases in life i'm not here for your entertainment like in the way that my life is not going to just be your entertainment in the way that you think it is um so you know i'm sorry that you can't profit off of my downward spi spiral over and over um like you could before but that doesn't mean that you can just invent 
BS like that defamatory content that I'm an animal abuser because my cat is not spayed and was given an injection a hormonal injection to keep her out of heat for a while um, and yes that is a good excuse to get her the injection because um, I don't want to have her have an operation which is more major for cats to be female cats to be spayed than males and just take off and leave the country because I would worry about her you know like <laughs> my pets are very much loved and you've never seen otherwise in any of my videos uh, Julia has always been happy so um, yes it's just something else to fake outrage over and you know I've seen some creators some reactors say that I'm stupid for bringing this to the internet. Why would I do that if I'm just gonna be criticized for being an animal abuser? And you know, my answer to that is because I simply don't care what people think about it. I'm not an animal abuser. I'm not gonna hide actions that are not harmful just because some other people wanna twist it and interpret it that way. You know, if the injection, the hormonal injection, was something that was so harmful for pets and was so, um, it was a form of animal abuse, the veter vets would not be administering it, you know? like. Um, there can be side effects just like with any medication you give to someone or to your pets but luckily there's been no side effects with Julia at all so she's fine um, you can rage all you want elsewhere about it um, again but I'm so happy that you have those videos documenting for defamation thank you very much um, if people want to clutch their pearls about that the situation please do it elsewhere because I'm honestly trying to rebuild an audience who is not negative all the time it doesn't come on my streams to just you know come up with all these things cause drama incite drama and everything else like i'm just over it i'm just totally over it um yeah they just i'm done <laughs> i'm done with it i'm done with that drama it's just not it's it's never ending it's just always something else and the things are becoming more and more outrageous outrageous um so if you're going to call me an animal abuser again just emphasizing that you'll need to call the vet an animal abuser because they're the ones who suggested it in the first place and they're the ones who administered it. Um, I don't think that a veterinarian would um, administer animal abuse on their animals, on their patients. So that's just something that's like, this person's audience is not logical. They don't think logically. Um, they're just hive minded, pack minded, and they're just like a bunch of coyotes like, rawr, rawr, and they don't, and they don't think, and they don't think for themselves. Um, and unfortunately that's what happens you have these wild ridiculous accusations and um you can think what you want um when we get back we have about maybe i don't know the we're not going to wait like the full time like last time but um i'd say after maybe five or six months we will um get her spade like we won't let her go into another cycle um but because of the injection there's no rush so yeah should we have done it sooner this time um, yes, I don't think she, she may not have gone in heat if she didn't smell the cats, but it was always a possibility. So maybe we should have got it done before we traveled, like way before. But even if we didn't get her spayed, it's not animal abuse. You can't go around saying that animals who are not spayed are abused animals <laughs> or neglected. Like, it's just not the case. It's not it. Everyone has a different opinion on that. Some people are against getting surgery for their animals and that's their right. That's their right, you know? So unless the animal is being starved, um, shut in, you know, shut away and actually neglected without food or water or love or attention for several days, for several, you know what I mean? Like, um, sh because you, you don't know what you're talking about. Like these accusations are so invalid and they're defamatory. And I know that this community where these reactors are don't care about that. They just don't, that's exactly what they're aiming for. And they, they're aiming at anything they can, you know, hang on to or um, twist or whatever to make money but it's just not the case and it can backfire and what goes around comes around um definitely so i would be careful about that if i were you um but other than that yeah i i eventually told people about julia first i was in the the gym and the pool area um a mixture of reasons i wanted to see the cat a change of environment but also i didn't want her meowing loudly on the camera i didn't you know want to have to keep talking through that and also I knew what people were going to say and I was right so I just thought just to avoid the headache but then something switched and I was like I wanted to go back up to my apartment and I was like why am I staying here just to just because like why do I care what these people think you know why do I care I'm not gonna like why am I not living the life how I want to just because of what people are gonna think go ahead call me an animal abuser because there's zero truth to it so that's what clued in and I said I'm going upstairs my cat's in heat it is what it is think what you want and of course right away oh she's an animal abuser you know, I, I knew it. That's why I was in the gym. But I don't care because it's not true. So if it's not true, you don't care about it. That's how it goes. And after this video, you know, and yeah, she did get the bath. She did get the vaccines. Um, 
but again none of that is like anyone's business like what i do with my pet like at all you know um she's very happy so anyways um i don't have anything else to say about it just that and again that's going to be the last time that i ever talk about this situation um she will not go into heat for a while and inshallah and we will take care of it before that happens again so we have decided she will be spayed eventually but just right now this was the best option like i said we are traveling it was too soon that it happened so yes anyway i guess that's it thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next video bye